The voices in my head have been calling me to Buffalo Grove, but for why? From chuck to rib to sirloin, it's a mecca of meat, a meat emporium. <gasps> it's Duffler's Meat Market. Phil, on Twitter, the voice is calling you here too? I bet they are. Come back and see us again. I love a man who's dedicated to his profession. This tattoo right here. <laughs> Even when he's off work, he's still butchering. That's dedication. Let's talk about your fabulous meat emporium here. You're like an old school, full service meat heaven. Fresh poultry every day of the week, fresh fish every day of the week. We're still getting cattle, so we cut everything right here on site. This is a temple to the meat. What is it about meat that's so amazing? Uh, maybe it's the caveman instinct or whatever in all of us. I've been coming here for 35 years. They know everything about the product that they carry. You get hands-on treatment wherever you go in the store. Everybody behind the counter treats you like family. Take care, bye-bye. There is one thing we've heard about, marinated skirt steaks. Our marinated skirt steaks are our number one seller. We marinate it in our special teriyaki sauce and it just kicks it up. I don't know what they do because they're magicians back there. Not a clue. No? Don't care. It tastes good. <laughs> just as long as it tastes good, that is all that matters in this life. Absolutely. Tender. Flavorful. Juicy. And it's just mouse in your mouth. I, I don't know what it is about it. Hi. Hi. Can I get four skirt steak sandwiches? Okay. Before we can even talk about the steak, we need to get our marinade together. So why wine vinegar in first? Some molasses. We're bringing the power flavors here. Soy sauce. A little bit of teriyaki in our 27 season blend. It'd probably be easy to try and guess what's not in here. Yeah. So that marinade sits for 24 hours. The next step is... Meat. It's where we walk in slow motion, heavy metal music. <laughs> Fancy butchering now. Take a little bit of this off. We call that the zipper. There you go, and just pull. You know what I like about this part is that you remove this and you start to reveal those beautiful little layers of the skirt. The marbling and, oh. yeah, awesome. Now make score marks. This is to allow our marinade to penetrate the meat. Correct, right? and then cut it in thirds. I was never good at math. You go thirds, I go quarters. <laughs> this is what I call the parking lot. You guys have grills where the car should be. That's right. It gets better and better. So these won't take any time at all, right? About six minutes. Music to my ears. Grilling in, in the parking lot. People joining the grilling party. What do you got going on over here? Should we just steal these skirt steaks so they're ready? I think so. What are we doing waiting outside? Your, your order that needs to go for catering, it's in there. It'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> these are for us. <laughs> I can't pick it up, it's too hot. This is a little bit special, because we're bonding right now. That's right. Two lovers of me. Homemade chimichurri as well. I'm gonna go completely naked to start off with. That's how I entered the world, and that's how meat should be tasted, first right, of all. Right, right, right. Oh, so tender. It is ridiculous. The marinade, there's enough there for that swelling of the flavor, but it's subtle enough to allow that super quality of meat yeah. shine through. The homemade chimichurri, what's in here? There's cilantro, jalapeno, there's a little bit of yellow pepper, red pepper, and garlic. That's a nice top up. You guys make that here? Make it here. Off a suggestion of a customer. You know what? Sometimes the customers are actually right. We love the customers and their passion for it. That drives us to serve it, get the best. We should carry on eating, telling some wild stories about our tattoos and just about meat in general. Cheers. For the love of the meat.